What's up guys? Uh, figured I'd make a video. My company gave me a brand new van, had it decked out. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, don't know, I'm a forklift mechanic, I'm a field tech. Um, so basically that means I'm in a work van with all my tools. I have a mobile workshop in a sense where I go do maintenances, repairs, etc. Um, it's like 10 degrees outside, so I figured I'd film the inside of my van first. This might be either my one and only video or the beginning of a couple other videos, depending on how this goes. I get kind of bored, you know, as a field tech, you don't really have much people to talk to besides yourself since you're in a van. I don't have an apprentice that I uh, I can chit chat with on a regular basis. So uh, this kind of keeps me entertained for now, I guess. So without further ado, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the inside of my van, how I have it set up, things I have, etc. Maybe they give you guys an idea of what to do with your van or if you're just looking into opening your own business, this is what you could be looking at. I could give you an estimate on some of these prices that I've paid for on stuff, whether it be tools, products, but let me know, comment below, and I'll try to get answer everybody, even though I only have two followers. So uh, here we go. Let's start off with the front of the van. This is more towards the front side of the van. Driver's side is on that side, passenger side, that side. This is can be a door if I really wanted to. I don't have it as a door. I would actually prefer to have it this way. That way I don't have to worry about if I put something here to block the door. I can just access through the side or the back. But uh, as soon as you walk in, this is usually down. I have it up now since I was working on this iPad. But uh, come into the side, I have my fittings on a pack out. I can also put other things on there for now that's all that's on there all my chargers with my batteries I do need more storage space to have some put away but these were put up with magnets right on the mountain point mounting points they have they're pretty strong magnets so they clip right on I don't have them moving around they don't rustle around they don't slide Every now and then, if I hit a bump hard enough, one of these batteries will pop out, so I'll probably find a better way to store these in the future, but for now, that's what I have. US General cup holder from their box series. It's great, I can take this off and put it anywhere, especially when I'm working outside during the summer. Right now, that's there for my lunch that I just had. Fire extinguisher, obviously, you always need to have that. Up top here is really where I store my knee pads. These are thick enough to where when I slide it up here, just stay stuck as same as this little bag. This is an empty tool bag that came with like an M12 set that I have. But I use this to put rags and sprays or whatever it is. I need like miscellaneous stuff. I put it in combination with this bag because this bag is for when I go into warehouses. So I don't have to pull anything out of the toolboxes unless I really, really need to. So whatever's in here is basically enough to service a truck 99% of the time. Over here on the side, I have all my organizers, like douche connectors, uh, hardware, standard hardware, metric, fine thread, light bulbs, sensors, stuff that I can like either get lost in the parts bin very easily or it can get damaged. Switches, fittings, um, some specialty hardware that's used for certain forklifts. Up top here, I have these two pouches. These were actually part of my old van because I had a different toolbox set up right here where I could just hang them off the side. So I don't know really where to put these. So I just slide these up here for like miscellaneous stuff like a flashlight, zip ties. If I have something small I need to put away for a job, I would slide these in here, maybe my batteries. Up here, I have some boxes for my electrical, just miscellaneous stuff up here these more of a space filler because uh, I had nothing up here for a little while so I just figured I'd throw all these bins up here and I ended up throwing stuff like that drill which doesn't fit on my drill holder I'll show you guys next an extra battery from my Ryobi uh, power washer that I don't know where really to put so it's thrown up here a speaker jobs speaker while I'm doing uh, either jobs or trainings I'll put this on to listen to music while I'm doing maintenances, or if I have a training, I'll connect my computer to that, show videos. Caution tape you can always have, always need. So whenever you have a truck that's shut down or you need uh, your space blocked off. Some uh, JIC caps, these are caps for the hydraulic hoses so they don't spew oil when you take them off. This is miscellaneous sockets that I didn't really have a spot for, so I just tossed it up here 
if I ever need them. Spark plug sockets. Never really use those. Drill, um, I forgot what this is called. Uh, the drill stand from US General. But it holds three of my drills. I have my 3.8 impact, a regular M18 drill, and a M12 regular drill, as well as the impact that you guys saw over there. Further down, I got the Merlin hose. This is, I believe, Harbor Freight. Gets the job done. It's It's been good so far. I mean, this is the first time I got it, so we're gonna put it to the test, as well as their, their fittings and stuff like that. A North Star gen, uh, not a generator, um, air compressor. Brand new Honda engine. Actually, I haven't fired it up yet. Soon, I will have to start it to see if it works. This is my Harbor Freight Jacks. Uh, I believe they're t uh, car movers or go jacks, but this is great for putting on and on tires, taking off tires because these forklift tires are like 60 80 pounds. Vacuum, you can never go wrong with a vacuum, rigid for either my maintenances inside or cleanups. Four ton jack, some jack stands to match some wood blocks, etc., underneath there. On this side. I have all my like maintenance gear or cleanup stuff where it'll be oil sprays, brake cleaner, greases, oils, etc. filters. Down here is really just rags and soap pads. Not, not interesting. Oh, and uh, filters, air filters. Down here is where I have all my fluids, whether it be motor oil, coolant, hydraulic fluid, etc. etc. English. <laughs> speak English all right um, this is my hydraulic press for making hoses that I have down there my little padded area with some zip ties uh, my oil collector for when I do oil changes or changing some stuff some gas cans for my compressor in here I have some miscellaneous parts and tools this is mainly stuff that was like spillover that I didn't know where to put and my grinder my uh, Grease gun is down there. My impact, my half inch Milwaukee impact is down there. The fuel one. Let's see. Further up, we have all the parts, whether it be lighting, straps, controls, uh, plugs, brake lights, headlights, uh, safety, backup horns, and etc. is all up here. Uh, this one's a little tough one to open, but it has more of the the bigger parts where there be brake pedals cylinders control uh, controllers and stuff like that it's a little more full so this one needs a little more persuasion to close and close a lot of my parts are in these bins as well like contactors brakes everything else you need spark plugs uh stuff for specific for certain brands like combi lift it's all in there some of my dies for my hydraulic press gloves a safety cone my hose for my uh my vacuum etc this could be a little more organized but this is what i have for now and on this side is where i store all my tools it's a u.s general 34 inch uh, service cart i believe it's called with the rubber bumpers also this is separate I know they sell it for their, all their toolboxes, but it's great for this purpose right here, putting a tablet here, or if I'm on the other side, it's actually at eye level, so it's actually good for any videos I need to see, YouTube, how to take motors apart, etc. And here I have all my sockets and magnets. You can never have too many of these. These are more of my to-go ones where I take this. I'll toss it in my bag, actually. I already have one in there and take it with me to the jobs. And if I'm working on something outside and I need a tray, I already have one here. Just pull it, take it, good to go. Um, let's see. My sockets are pretty much a mix of brands. I don't go for Snap-on mainly because it's too expensive for what it is. Yes, they can be great. We have mechanics that have them as well and I have used them in the past. And do they feel great? Yes, but for the price, I don't really think they're worth it, to be honest with you, but to each their own, if you wanna spend Snap-on money, go ahead and spend Snap-on, Bluepoint, Mac, whatever type of money you wanna spend, go ahead. 
Uh, I have Tekton, which is more of my professional style ones, would be the impacts here and here, my metric and standard, because these forklifts can either use standard or metric, depending on what brand it is. I have my gear wrench, uh, metric and and a standard set, which would be these, my chrome sets. This is actually Milwaukee 3.8's impacts. This came in their entire kit, same goes for their standards. Uh, my quarter inch, same thing, gear wrench. Some miscellaneous stuff like bits, as well as this back here is full of bits. Magnet, you can never go wrong. You always lose nuts and bolts. It'll save you. I think I bought this at, let's see, AutoZone or Auto Parts. Cool, because you could just press the back end and it opens up like a claw. So once you get there, you just get a nice grip and the magnet helps. Mm -hmm. So you can never go wrong with a regular magnet. Some scissors, some breaker bar right here. This is my small Tekton 3 8 red ratchet. Let me pull it out. There it is. So, boom. This is great. This is actually one of my more favorite tools whenever I stick my hand somewhere and I need something to twist, but I don't need that full leverage to get in the way. I can always just fold it up, use it like this. Or store it like that if I really wanted to, but it's great. It's a 3 8 ratchet with the locking locking button. So you won't lose a socket while you're in there. One of my favorite ratchets that I have. Let's put that back. This is the battery I was talking about that I usually just take it and I'll slide it here. I use this for my lights, which is an upgrade I have to do in this van because right there is a Milwaukee light and this is a Ryobi that I use to illuminate. The only two lights I have here are these. So up here are my breaker bars, not breaker bars, um, pry bars from long to small. A bunch more ratchets in here, miscellaneous brands, mainly gear wrench or icon. I think this one's an icon. They're great. Um, I don't use this too often, but it is fantastic. Being able to use it as a driver if I really want to or at certain angles. Over here I have my bit driver. So if I ever want to take any of these bits, put it on there. I have whatever I need. Phillips flat. Oh, gotta unlock it first. The reason why I have it like this is because when I drive around, I can either lock so these drawers don't come sliding out. Also, these have a a latch system that you can remove. I left these on since I do drive around and I don't want these opening up on me. Like see how it's locked up. If I just slide to the side, it'll open it up. Icon, uh, not Icon, um, Tekton, no skip set, uh, metric and standard, as well as the ratchet, the extension slits for some reason. But the ratchet this is also a great ratchet. It's one of my go-tos as well as the gear wrench one. They're both pretty much evenly used. This one has the locking head. That one doesn't. And that one has the soft grip. This is regular grip. Icon uh, bit set for the hex heads. Great. Used them a handful of times so far. I also have more up here that I tend to use since it's right in front of me. I'll eventually uh, move them around slide this in uh, I have my extensions icon as well impact extensions these are both 3 8 my crow's feet that are icon these come in handy a lot more than you think for a forklift mechanic I can't tell you from an auto mechanics perspective since I haven't done that I do every I dabble every now and then but I don't do some heavy mechanic stuff on cars so you let me know if that's worth it for you guys but this for forklift mechanics Grade A, it's the best thing you can get. There's times that you need that certain angle to be able to break loose lines or certain bolts. Um, here I got scrapers, more extensions, um, specialty wrenches for oil filters, battery power solderer, rotary tool, Milwaukee rotary tool. This is great um, for other for the you guys that do heavy machinery or forklifts. This is great for cleaning the inside wells of the axles on pallet jacks. 
Sometimes they use those in refrigerators and they get gunked up with oil or grease and dirt. Then it kind of makes it hard for the axles to go through. So if you get this with this little attachment, go inside, clean it up real quick. Makes it real easy to slide the axles in and out. Let's see, next we have miscellaneous wrenches. As of right now, I'm debating on taking these and putting them here and taking these and putting them there. These are gear wrench, regular size, metric and standard, as well as Huskies. Over here, I have the Icon sets, which are more of my favorite ones. I like the angles on them. They actually feel like the snap-ons. A lot of people crack on them that they're, uh, what's it called, knockoff snap-ons. They're fantastic. I've used both and I have mechanics here that would rather pick up an icon rather than a snap on it's vice versa as well but they're to me they're exactly the same and for the price you can't beat it so i would take those swap them here and vice versa but that's what i have here these are cheaper pittsburgh ones these are pretty much given away whenever you spend x amount of money in in harbor freight i use these i leave these here so like if i need to modify one cut one up or bend it i can use one of these and sacrifice it husky uh thin wrenches these are great for getting certain spots with some valves that hold hydraulic hoses you got to get real thin in there to break it open because there's like cylinders in front of it some bigger wrenches for other bigger jobs like motors and valves down here i have my wrench sets my s wrenches and my double box end wrenches over there at an angle same thing goes for, these are flare nut wrenches. These are great for some hydraulic lines and some fuel lines. I barely use them, so I got these, they're cheap. Lifetime warranty, if they ever get messed up, I get a new one. Husky speed speed wrenches, I use the open end side as a speed side. It's great for certain stuff when you can't really get a box end in there or a, or a ratchet. Just slide that in there to be able to break loose and be able to take it out or tighten it up. These are stubby hyper tough yeah make fun of me i bought these one day because i actually needed i believe it was the 13 mil stubby and uh since walmart was the closest thing to me i bought it i haven't used them since so they just sit there but it's good to have if i need it some pass-through sockets from husky same thing for a bunch of rods that you need to go through and take it out it's great for that these are my whoops Looks like this opens up. All right, my screwdrivers and wrenches, I mean, uh, pliers, pistol grip pliers from Icon, Icon snap ring pliers, uh, Klein, uh, Husky, I believe one of them. I got my Icon hammers, Pittsburgh screwdrivers, mainly anything with a lifetime warranty I'm gonna buy. Some stuff like these, I ended up buying, I had these already, so I use them for work and also bought the american made ones they're fantastic some oil filter wrenches some this is a plier for making electrical connections douche connections or douche whatever you want to call them miscellaneous drawer with everything you can think of whether it be uh teflon tape a little jumper box which is right there drill bits um extractors for bits uh, tap and die set metric and standard from icon fantastic highly recommend especially for the price and down here is my big wrenches same thing pittsburgh i knew i was going to end up sacrificing a couple of them as you can see this one's cut up Actually, you had to use it as a service wrench the other side which i have in my bag now as we speak but they're sacrificial i barely use these huge wrenches maybe now and then to undo some uh fittings but they're not on there that tight, so I don't really need anything super crazy or expensive. So it gets the job done. And a torque wrench, because every now and then we got to torque some stuff down. And the cheater bar. So if I ever need some more leverage, I just use that pipe. And that's my whole setup for the uh, for the truck. I mean, inside here in the cab, it's basic. I just have my phone charger, my cooler somewhere in the middle. Nothing impressive there, but... This is your service van, my service van. So if you have any questions or uh, concerns, any comments, if this helps you guys, that'd be great. Uh, those of you guys who are getting newer vans or trying to set up for your own business. Oh, I forgot to mention, these are like my hydraulic hoses that I keep them here hanging. Some extensions as far as batteries for these forklifts, etc. 
extensions for regular extensions that are with the shop magnet hooks uh, garbage bags etc and that's about it hopefully this got this helps you guys hopefully this is the beginning of a couple videos maybe i'll be able to speak better english <laughs> and uh see you guys again peace